Imagine you've been trapped in a dark cave since birth. The only reality you know are the shadows dancing on the wall in front of you cast by objects you can't see. This is the reality for most people. They only know what they've been taught and never question anything. Their worldview limited, obscure and distorted. Now picture stepping outside for the first time. The sunlight is blinding, your eyes hurt Everything is overwhelming. This transition from darkness to light is the essence of Plato's allegory of the cave. Plato originally wrote the allegory because of the death of his mentor Socrates, as he was killed for his way of thinking. In order to illustrate the levels of society and the reason for Socrates' death, Plato wrote this allegory. In Plato's allegory, prisoners are chained in a cave, facing a wall. Behind them burns a fire. The fire represents light, but it isn't true light. The sun is a true light and represents enlightenment. Between the fire and the prisoners, there's an area where people move objects that cast shadows on the wall. These prisoners think that these shadows are real because this is the only reality they know. They only know what they can see, hear, what they've been taught, and what they've been shown, but everything they know is coming from a controlled source. They're not able to directly perceive reality as it is, but they don't even know that. They don't know that they don't know. Because of this, they've become very attached to this perception of reality that they have because it's real to them even though it may not be real to us. Most people are shaped by the expectations of their environment. These are the people that don't question anything and believe what is forced onto them. Their cognitive dissonance makes it so they are unable to question the reality that has been told to them. Think about it. How often do we accept the shadows as the full picture of reality in our own lives? The cave is our comfort zone, the familiar. The painful adjustment to the light is our struggle to understand new ideas. So what does this mean for us? It's about growth. Just like the prisoner, we move from seeing shadows, simple surface level understanding to grasping deeper truths. At the first level, we're like the prisoners, seeing only the shadows. This is where many of us start, taking things at face value and accepting what we're told without question. The next level comes when we start to question these shadows. We ask, is there more to this than meets the eye? This is the beginning of critical thinking, where we start to seek out more information, different perspectives, and question our reality. But we are still too afraid to fully come to terms with the truth, because we may be scared of what others think of us or the fact that we may never be able to turn back. Breaking free from the chains is symbolic of breaking free from ignorance. It's painful and confusing, but it's necessary. This stage represents the struggle of learning the new way of understanding as well as confronting the uncomfortable truths and unlearning the old way of thinking. The person at the top of the second level is covering their face in order to block the light. They can't handle the light yet, which means they can't handle the objective true reality because it's difficult to change that quickly and to adjust your way of thinking. So these people are blind to the truth. On this level, you're still attached to your old identity from your environment, but you understand that this might not be the only truth. On the second level, people are able to step back enough to generate their own judgment. So they realize that they have two choices, either go back to what's comfortable or keep moving into discomfort of the new reality. Once we emerge from the cave on the final level of the allegory, the people at the top can see the world for what it truly is. Still confused, covering their eyes, slowly things become clearer and they understand that they will never see things the same again. It's the high highest level of understanding. We understand that the shadows of the vase, bird and tree on the lowest level symbolize what is seen in reality. The fire on the second level and the sun on the surface also symbolize the same thing, enlightenment. This level has nothing to do with being better than others. It's not about high IQ or how smart you are. It's only about the way you view the world and your ability to step back and reflect on the limits of your own way of thinking. Here we see the embrace of change and questioning if your way of thinking is right or wrong. 
because you understand that just because something was taught to you doesn't mean it's the truth. People often stay on level one and two because they don't want to be wrong. They can't handle embarrassment and they don't want to abandon everything they have ever been taught. The way people deal with the third level is to reduce the level of complexity of the world or we increase our own mental complexity. Even if the people on the third level know they are better, they'll listen to other people they know they have a better answer than because you can always learn anything from anyone. But they also understand that if they go back into the cave to teach people, the people will only think that their eyes are damaged because they saw the light. But the reality is their eyes are damaged because they will never be able to see the world the same again. So how does this allegory apply to our lives today? Every time we challenge our assumptions, seek deeper understanding and question the status quo, we're stepping out of the cave. In psychology, this process is known as cognitive development. It's about moving from concrete, simplistic thinking to abstract, complex reasoning, and it's all about growth. And if you want to grow even more, make sure to subscribe.